Okay, we are back, and we uh, just ended up entering combat. Uh, the Wilders are in a mine, the Shallow Creek Mine. They've been exploring it, and they have found an area. Hey, hi there, Ion. Thank you very much. By the way, big shout out to Ion Eyes for coming and chatting with us and talking. That's really nice. Um, yeah. Before we start the combat, though, I want to switch to our minicam. I want to show off. A uh, couple of things. Here it is. Uh, I've still got to do some work on the minicam because it's too white. I'm going to get the lighting a little bit better. Here are some of the minis that uh, Thaddeus has painted over the last week. Uh, these are some guys that are not in the campaign yet, but at some point maybe we'll see them. But he's done a great job as always. They look pretty good. Pass me those other two and we're going <clears> to <throat> switch it out. The I want Bear and Drama. Where do you get your STL files from? So some of these STL files are uh, files that, and Percy's the one who's printing them, or I was printing them a couple of years ago with my 3D printer. Uh, I'm going to just do a little switch, and then I'll come back and tell you. Give me one moment here. Those are amazing. Pay no attention to the big pink hand. Nobody can see it. Okay. Why not? Isn't it on mini, on mini cam? No, 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 no. Oh, we're doing that. Okay, there we go. Okay, so those are the beautiful little carvings that we've got now for our two companions. Grema is Raven's companion, and Bear is uh, Josephine's big old dire wolf companion. Uh, Raven asked where we get our STLs from. I subscribed to a number of different uh, mini artists who make our uh, make uh, digital. STL files uh, of uh, miniatures uh, a couple of years ago. I subscribed to a whole bunch of them and I uh, gathered a whole bunch of STL files that we have printed up for the various kinds of things. Everything from, you know, dwarves to monsters to elves to you name it. A lot of those have never been painted and that's what's happening now is we're in the process of trying to get most of the stuff that we would use painted so that it's in living color uh, on our table. Okay, there we go. Uh, why don't we switch back? And if you want to grab those two, Thaddeus, if you can reach them, we'll put them back on the table. I'm going to continue with gameplay. Now, you guys have encountered this. This is what you get to see on your... And I will put it on the back screen for you, too. This is what you get to see, lucky you. Two of these big guys is what Percy and Thaddeus are facing off against. Two of them. Yes, there are two. Mm -hmm. One there, one there. Yeah. We're just going to go with tokens because I don't have any scorpions on me right now. It's and we are always using lobsters. And... Okay. So I rolled a 24. Yeah. So let's get uh, to the uh, initiatives. Initiatives. I'm going to fix everybody's initiative up. Percy's is a total of 24, and yeah. so it is on the thing. Uh, what about you, Thaddeus? 29. 29. You're above nice. Percy, then. Raven? 19. 19. You were below those two guys. You're, they're down here. Uh, you're above that scorpion, though. And just me. Including bonus, <laughs> I rolled a 12. Wow. And, and Bear rolled a 13. Bear will always be with you. We'll just do the okay. same, both of you together. And okay. Lavinia. Well, I rolled for 16. Him 16. All right. I'll we'll put you up there then. So five right there. plus initiative. That means Thaddeus is starting. Thaddeus wow. immediately reacts. <laughs> I mean, you are face to face with it. Well, not be really. I'm behind a big pillar. He's, He's peeking closer. out behind a pillar, but that thing sees him and it spins around. And it's going to start to approach him on its turn. All right. Um, I'm going to spin both of these around. We got those gloves on? Oh, yes. No glove, no love. Yep. I am going to... Gloves on. Add a timer. I'm popping our last timer for the night. Right now... 40 minutes and that's it we will be done at about quarter after 10 
I am using my uh, pearl hilt filleting knives. Okay, going for the filleting knives, and are you throwing them? Are you moving? Uh, I am to... throwing them before he gets to me. Okay. Uh, plus fourteen to strike, and oh, you need 20. three then. Oh. <laughs> He's good. You got Twenty. You only had to roll a five. Hmm? Ouch. Okay. Well, or no, I, I I rolled a six. six. Okay, you hit him. Okay. Uh, I should see what these guys can do as far as damage. you guys. One d six plus one piercing plus one d four. Now, next up. He's prone, right? No. He's not prone. Um. And he's still on your shoulder, right? He's I'm con unconscious. So I'm going to have to use one action to put him down, I think. Yeah, that's fine. Well, he I'm going to I'm going to stay them. dropping him. Ain't an action. Okay. But he might wake up if you drop him. You could throw him out. But him. he's tied up. He's got manacles. Yeah. And then five, manacles, yeah. Five piercing and three fire. Okay, so a total of eight. All right, and that's what? One dagger and you're throwing another? I'm throwing another. You throw a second dagger? Uh, exactly the same thing. Okay, damage. Uh, did you guys get the pop-up for combat? No, probably not. Um, ba -ba -da -ba. There it is. Oh, something oh. popped up. Ooh, that's scary. We even had a sound effect sound. even. Ooh. Okay, so you will now have the pop-up because I forgot to start the encounter. Encounter has now officially begun. And you can close that tracker if you wish to. You don't have to stick around. And stick Bear around. just plays with me? Yeah, he's okay. going to go with you. Uh, I need to see if I can get him on the tracker, though. What was the damage in your second? Uh, the damage was um, exactly the same. Five piercing plus um, three fire. Sorry, uh, three bleed, not fire. So that's eight. Bam. So you took a hell of a whack out of this guy. Good stuff. Nice. Okay. Um, now, we don't have Bear on the initiative. Let's get him set up so that he is there with Josephine. We're going to put him right down here with you. <gasps> Did it re-roll all the initiatives? No. Okay, just Bear. Okay, good. A little concerned about that. Okay, good. Uh, so... Uh, as you can see on the tracker, Percy's up next, Cave Scorpion, Raven, Scorpion, Lavinia, Josephine. What do you want what do you have left to do, Thaddeus? Anything else? You've got two use your action to throw both at the first. You have two actions left. I have two actions left. I'm going to um, step back behind this barricade. Even though I know it's coming up, but, but I'm getting ready for when he comes around the corner. Okay. All right, Percy, what do you want to do? You um, are pretty much face to face, aren't you? I'm pretty much face to face as well. So yeah, I should be able to do uh, both of my uh, things, my you tomahawk and my bowie knife. Do a twin takedown. Yep, let's do it. All right, so Percy so, has targeted this one by him. We're gonna strength. twin take down this guy. First one is a no. First one's a no. What's their AC on these guys? Uh, that's plus 12, so that'll be 16. Misses. Shite. Too low. Okay. They have armor, right? Because they're oh. chitinous one, armor. One, one move, though. That was only one move. True. So for me to use my tomahawk again. Come on, baby. Do me, do me right. Oh, Come on, baby, do me on? Right. Oh. Did you give me your dice? <laughs> <laughs> it's like 16 I'm again. Go to triple. This will be a better screen. Jeez. Okay, so. Uh, and I've got one more move. Um, you yell the word shit. I can yell the word shit. Reach back behind and pull some out and throw it. it I, Kick you wildly could step. in the darkness <laughs> step behind the dwarf that you dropped at your feet <laughs> isn't there like a defense thing you can do uh a defense thing i thought there was um 
Well, it's step like words, an action, but... an action that is a step or a defense that increases your armor class. I could be mistaken. Okay, so that's not bad. 30 combined unarmed strike. Okay, so you rolled a total of 30? I rolled a total of 30 on an unarmed strike. Well, it's minus 10, so you totally hit him. Okay. Because that's 20, and that beats his armor class. Okay, and uh, so damage is... Should be in the chat... Well, you'll, your damage one d four plus three bludgeoning, isn't it? Or it's what the hell is it? I don't know. It's on your plus sheet. Six you go to your actions. It says one d four plus plus three bludgeoning, but I thought it was more because of the uh, the claws and the. Um, you can use the wraps this time wraps. if you want. Now they're in your inventory. Yeah, they are called the hand wraps of mighty blows. Yeah, thought, they are invested. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. As you invest in blah, 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 you must meditate, wrap them around your hands. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can upgrade. It's not. What's it say? Um... With your armor, increase the damage of your unarmed attacks from one weapon die to two. All right. So 2d4. 2d4. That's a little better. Not as sad as still in the swirling hieroglyphs. Oh. Hold on, thank you. There. I have de-swirlified Thaddeus and <laughs> swirlified Percy. Thank you. I've got to push this little arrow to move us forward, and I forget. So how much damage did you do to this Eight. scorpion? Eight points of damage. Good stuff. With an unarmed strike. <laughs> Just because I'm in fury. Just, <laughs> I just got frustrated and I was like, Bleh! take that, you stupid, stinky stupid, scorpion. Stinky scorpion creature. It now becomes. Ray, it becomes the scorpion's turn. Oh, see, look, it works. And look, they've got a, like a dark one. This scorpion decides that it's going to move up and it is going to attack Thaddeus. Uh -oh. Squawk, squeaky squawk, little sounds from it as it attacks him with its pinchers. Mm. Maybe. I'm looking to see what it's going to do. It's going to try for a strike with its stinger. So you see the stinger on its tail, rear back, and swing forward right at Stadius. Thaddeus. Stadius. Stadius. Wolf it. Stadius. He's like Wolves and an unbelievable four. <laughs> Boom. That would be a miss. Boom, boom, boom. Thaddeus dodges to the side and it misses. Thaddeus. Rears back, decides it's going to snap at him with one of its claws and tries to strike. This is with a plus six. That's a 14 plus six for 20. And I think that that is not going to come anywhere near Thaddeus's armor class at What's 24. Oh. Uh, it's 24 okay, because 20. of the, nice, nimble, nice. the nimble dodge. Nice, nice. These guys don't have a lot of strike. dodges the strike. And that's good because, you know, this thing's. This, these things yeah, hurt. Kind of, I'm just going to let you know they hurt. They look kind of painful. Uh, so uh, it's confused. It tries one more time with the other one. It's very last action. Snap! But it only gets a plus two to five. So with a whopping seven strike attack, it fails. And it becomes the next thing, third player's turn. It is Raven's turn. Okay, I'm going to move five, ten, fifteen, twenty. 25. So, right? 5, 10. Each of these squares be 5, so you can just count a square. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. I'm trying to move my token as I go, and it's not working very well. Yeah. I so, agree. that's one move. If there's rocks there, is that space uh, impassable? Like, can you stand It's not it's passable, but it is. It tends to be uneven ground. Okay. Um, and I will cast uh, summon animal okay we're summoning an animal you have got uh three Hang companion on. two two companions to choose from a slurk or a velociraptor actually i may not be able to do that because it might be a three three uh summon animal is a three action deal i'm just checking i think it might be i think it is do -do -do. i just saw it here too where the hell is it 
Yeah, it is. Okay, you're out of luck this time. You might as well use the rest of your actions to move or not move or do what you want. Well, I don't want to get in the way of everybody else either. Because I'm well, if you're standing on that rubble back there, you'd still have a fairly good sight line. Yeah. Okay, I will attempt. Mad at gaming. He yelled that to him across the room. <laughs> yeah, he did. Go stand on that rubble, Raven. Stand on the rubble, Raven. <laughs> Quick. Okay, I'll move to this rubble He's spot. Coming to get me. Okay, that's perfect. And it is now a Cave Scorpion's turn. The one that is set, faced off against Percy decides to attack Percy. Mm. Reaches back with its stinger to try and make a hit. And with a 19, freaking hits him. Oh, no. no. So it's 2d6 plus 2 piercing, my friend. Mm. So we're going to get a couple of d6. Get a little... Oh, I just paused the game. Sorry about that. Seven points of three. damage plus... Hold on. What was it? Plus 2 piercing. Total of 9 points of damage. Okay. Percy. Uh, Percy is also poisoned with oh, no. uh, cave scorpion poison. And uh, so next round, he is going to take a d4 of damage. How long does the poison last? And at what point does that Maximum trigger? Maximum duration, six rounds. Okay. At what point does that trigger his weird tiger getting really oh, pissed we're, off? We haven't got there yet. No, he I has did. not taken enough damage yet for weird tiger nope. to go. We will have to see. But under effects, I'm trying to figure out how I can add this. Oh, oh, I remember. So we take, we click on the token. We right-click the token, and there is an effects thing. And then we go find it. Why don't you have the persistent, paralyzed, petrified, prone? Why isn't poison here as an effect? Is it not a... Oh, does, does he get a fortitude save against the poison, or is he just automatically poisoned? Um, I think he's automatically poisoned in this case. I will look that up and clarify it next time. But apparently it's not an effect. What the fuck? Fine, we're just going to remember we got to move on. So it is now, uh, he has poisoned you. He's still got uh, an action to do. So he's going to go after you with his pinchers. So with his pinchers, he rolls. This is his second action. And his section, second action, uh, go up here. There. He rolls a crappy two and misses you. Oh, nice. Yeah. Third action, which I don't even think it's possible for him to do. Third action, he rolls a 13, but he only gets uh, a plus zero or a plus two to it. So at 15, he doesn't hurt you with his no. third action. Actions grab. A requirements, uh, our last action was the successful strike. He does not grab you with his pinchers. He's unable to do it. You're only poisoned. Okay. Okay, and it um, becomes next person's turn, which is Lavinia Rose, then Justine Smith. Okay, I have a quick question. All this dark area, is that rock? Yeah. Or Okay, so in order for me to even see those guys, I have to move ahead. Yeah, it's a pain in the ass because you guys are in mining tunnels. Yeah. So your your line of sight is extremely limited unless you get right up and melee within melee range. All right. Um, so you can hear the conflict happening. You can hear this screeching from this cave scorpion, and you can hear Percy going. Hur, uh, hur. So uh, what do you want to do? Where do you want to move? <laughs> I want to give you the dog. He's down here Simon, barking at me. Stop woofing at us. Simon, come um, here. I want up? to move up here. Yep, yep. Just to a point where I can see. I'll drag and... the token up there for you. Thank you very much. Okay. I yeah. am casting magic missiles at the guy back here. The one by Percy or the one yeah. by Thaddeus? Who was it that was just doing... That's me. 
Yeah. I'm going to say that you see where I moved your token from there. You can, you can see enough of the, of the scorpion because he's big to yeah. actually hit him. All right. Okay. To so, get around the corner. All right. So we are casting magic missiles. Give my single token. All right. So the, you had to move to do that. You can still cast two magic missiles. Yeah. Unless you want to upcast it. Did you give me a level one? I gave you a one. Okay. So you got two missiles plus one point of damage. So two D4s. So give me a D4. I have a thousand. You do have a few D4s there. Mm -hmm. Okay. And after this, Josephine, it'll be your turn. I'm You'll be able to check them for me. Figure out what you want to do. You and then Bear. We'll do Bear right after you. Um, three and one. Four points plus one point. Uh, actually, I think you might do more than one point of force damage now if we look at your spells. Did you look at your? No, well, my computer's all closed up, so I could put. No, you just out. use it on your keypad and so we of we all computer. just use the keypad to do it. All right. So we don't close. Good idea. It's just one force on it, apparently, from what this says. So you did a total of what five points of damage? Five points. I believe of it was. Yep. Okay, so you do five points to this guy. All of a sudden, these missiles hit it coming around. And the missiles they whip around Percy, and they hit. This guy for a total of five points, which is and you hear it squawk in protest. That is the end of your turn. Josephine, you're up. Can Bear and I take our turns at the same time? Yeah, you well, you could like command him to go ahead of you. Like we are going like this. Run, 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 run. He jumps this way, I jump this way, and I pew pew, and he. Just... <laughs> I love. Okay, that. so so who is doing their first? Who's taking the first attack of the two of you? Let's just do with that. Okay, well, and I'll I will, move your I tokens into where they need to be. I will pew pew with a uh, uh, Mabel actually, because I'm still. Uh, now away. Bear's token is attached to you, so I'm just going to have Bear go with you. And I'm not an attachment. Oh, oh, we, we separated. He's I know, but I can't do that with oh. the tokens. Oh, okay. So the tokens will just not exactly reflect where your okay. minis are. Okay, so, so what are you doing? You're shooting with Mabel? Mabel, yeah. And they're targeting the one that Percy is attacking Percy? Yeah. But, All right, head it. I thought that's Thaddeus. Or, sorry, whoever I'm, who, whoever. That would be me. Okay, okay you're targeting Thaddeus. that one. Yes. I need to know because, of course, I'm going to change the, the right health level. Okay. Okay. Roll to hit him. Yeah, just give me a second. Sorry, I um I thought about my action, but I didn't bring up my okay, so it's plus thirteen. D twenty and you add thirteen to the total. Uh twenty-three. Hit him, no problem. Okay, so that's going to be damage is is it a D ten for your big old mantle? D10, yeah. And then you get a D four with fire. What else do you get on it? I don't remember. Uh, D four. I think. Or was it a D6? Uh, D10 plus D4. Yeah. D4. Yeah. There you go. Might as well roll them at the same time. You should put Five all together. Put your tray on your keyboard while you do it. So Oh, okay. can I re-roll since I didn't put no. it on my... No! Oh. What did you get total? A five all... Uh, total five? Yeah. I, yeah, I got a one on my ten and a four on my four. All right, nine. Okay, got it. Okay. Okay, that is the end of your turn because your movement plus your shot. Bear's turn. Yeah. And Bear is chomping down. So, yeah, he's already run. Um, he's used up his movements. He's just going to take a, a, an attack action. So let's see what we have here. Um, what does he do? Yeah, what does he do? Uh, well, uh, Melly. Jaws. Jaws, yeah. He's got so a plus 12 plus on his 12. jaws. So we're going to roll and for him. Doesn't he charge at you and knock you down? Yeah, he has well, knocked down. Well, yeah, he's a vicious wolf. He's right. just going to attack and bite. Which is not going to work against a cave sport scorpion right. that's this high and low and this wide. It's, got, yeah. it's like trying to knock over like a sure. low trailer. Yeah, ain't working. Is he, he can, jumping he can, on top of him? Yeah, it, well, exactly. He can still attack could, him. And... He could jump on top of him. Couldn't he? But he's got the stinger is going to bring him closer to the stinger. Mm. Uh, I I was thinking he'd go just right behind the neck like like he just naturally does. All right, roll to hit. Uh, 
and he does a 1d10 uh, plus 5 piercing got, now. He rolled That's 16 wolf. plus 12, so hits. he rolled a 28. D10 and 5 and piercing. A D10 and, and the and 5 piercing will always hit as long as he hits. Okay. So he's got a pretty wicked bite. That's nice. Because he's a dire wolf, so it's worse than a wolf's bite. And he rolls way better than his mom. I rolled a 6. Um, 6 plus, plus 5. Yeah, plus 5. 11. 11 points of damage. Bear leaps up. And with his heavy weight, lands and bites this thing and kills it dead ski. Yeah! yeah! I'm down. Yeah! He's a good boy. Such a good boy. Such a good boy. Such a good boy. And it becomes... Oh, yeah, yeah. It's this one over here that would be dead. Thank you. Well, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> I gotta just switch them. There, that one goes just, over just here. This one him. comes over here. There, there we, we go. go. There. Okay. Okay. All done now. And they okay. all lived happily ever after. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. So that was Bear's turn, Bear's and that turn. means that it immediately because because that's the start of the new round. Apparently, Thaddeus, it's the beginning of a new round. Uh, why? Thank you. I am going to take my exquisite cane rapier. Exquisite. And... The exquisite, uh, as opposed to the regular cane. It is also a plus 14 to strike. All right. Hit him. Rolled oh, an 18. Man. An 18 plus a 14. Damage. Yes. Whatever your cane rapier damage is. Uh, one D8 plus two plus two piercing. One D4 bleed. Right, because it's weird. It does a plus two, plus two. So we know it's a plus four. Mm -hmm. It's a D8 plus four and a D4, right? And a D4. Uh, D8 and a D4 and four. Oh, I rolled a D10, sorry. There it is. Eight plus two, plus two. Mm. And... And three. So eight and three and plus four, right? So yes. Seven and eight, which is 13 points of damage. And this guy is looking like he is in super rough shape. One of his legs is badly broken. One of his pinchers is barely working. Uh, and uh, yeah, he's in rough shape. You, that was your first attack, right? Yeah. Roll. What do you want to do for your second? You gonna I'm, attack I'm again? doing another swing. Go ahead. Second swing has got a bonus of, what does it say? This is your exquisite cane rapier. Yep. We should put your other one in the bag so we don't have to look at both of them. It's a plus eight on your second. Nope, wrong thing. Hold on. It's a plus 10. God, it's a plus 10 on your second attack. Because your first attack is a 14. 17 plus 10, that's 27. It's no problem. You're not going to have a hard time hitting him. He's pretty badly battered up. No. Uh, eight plus two. Um, eight plus four and two. Crunch, and you crush his head, and he is dead. Woo! Yay! Two down. You there you go. You got skills. You got Why? Skills. Thank you, Miss Smith, for your assistance. You are out of combat. Now that Sorry, is the end of the encounter. And I need to do something. Thank you, Miss Smith, for your assistance. I appreciate that. Oh, my pleasure, sir. What do you wish to do now that you're out of combat? Uh, i got to fix my poison. You have got to fix your poison. That is correct. Yes, you your poison me. 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 I'm takes poisoned. off for another two points. If he'd stayed in combat, he would have become a weird tiger. Who anti-venoms? One of you. Or one of you three, actually. Well, I have. Will antidote work against a venom, or does it have to be an anti venom? What does it say I, on, the, I have on the thing? Copious amounts of anti venom. I do believe. Let me just double check this. Okay, while that's happening, does anybody want to have a look at these, these um, scorpions? They do. should yeah. be lootable. Double click them. Yeah, I'll, I'll search them. Bear and I will sniff around. Have a look at their inventory. Uh, 
how do we I can't remember where do, where do we uh, find the um are they lootable? Can you double click them and see the inventory? Yeah, they are. I just can't remember where to where to find the the bag of holding now. Uh, it's either the bag of holding button on your hot bar or P for party. Mm. Not that party. You have to hit P to bring up a different window. Yeah, I know, but then how do I drag and drop it into? Okay. You, you hit uh, stash. It's a tab on the right. Okay, okay. so I want to point so out that okay, this yeah. time around on these guys you'll notice that a cave scorpion has got claw and a poison stinger mm -hmm. right those are being josephine is grabbing them right now we'll go Sorry, to this I'm one stealing them i'm putting them Chitinous in the armor uh which yeah four gold pieces for titanus armor is pretty damn good claw claw poison stinger right uh here's the point when percy or josephine are hunting animals those animals will now have the appropriate types of items on them, like hides and stingers and claws and horns. And if you want to make a lot of the recipes, these kinds of things are the kinds of things, for example, well, how do you make a black powder horn? Well, obviously you need a horn. Well, where do you get a horn? Well, you're going to get a horn off of a, a bison or a cow or whatever, right? So be, you, if you hunt a bison, you beat the, you, you harvest the bison, you're going to get a big heavy hides and you're going to get a couple of horns that you can make black powder horns of. So right. this is the kind of stuff you're going to need for your recipes. Keep track of it. Put it someplace. Could you take a look under anti-venom poison or potion and help me understand what it's saying so the um scorpion bodies um skeletons have been violated and everything removed and put into the bag of holding now so i don't know if i like if, the term violated violated they had their claws removed Stupidy okay shit. and their and their poison extracted they were violated okay. <laughs> You know, I think you should have got a, uh, maybe against the poison, you should have got a fortitude check. It's cloudy white liquid helps protect against poisons. It only protects, it does yes, not. Yes, but uh, when you drink it, you can immediately attempt a flat check to end any persistent poison damage you're taking. So what do I have to roll? Yes. Roll, you roll a d20, you got to make 10. 10. All right, I'll accept that. You no longer take any damage from your poisons. Yay. Jen, you need to subtract one of your anti-venoms and delete it because I Percy drank it. How many hit points did you lose, Percy? Uh, you know he lost like six party screen. Like what does it say? I it lost. It says that he's at sixty-seven out of seventy-eight. Yeah. Okay. Here's a um, a batch of my um, reagents for a health potion. So you Batch roll one d six. Okay, so roll roll one d six. Okay. Hands me a bunch of chemicals. And says, well, put this I, together it's always, yourself. It's IKEA. Put this weird <laughs> stuff in your mouth. See what uh, happens. Trust me, you can drink six. It. Oh, you get six points of uh, six points of health. Must be nice. Okay. Uh, so is anybody on. else lacking in health? Look at party. <laughs> Look at the party screen. P for party. You will see that Josephine's got 35, and she is the lowest health of anybody in the group. 34 out of 53. Okay. Really? Yes. Wow, that's low. That's what it says on the party <laughs> it is screen. Low, isn't that's it? why you have well, a party screen. Then, so since I've gonna got this Skookum D10 to be able to use for heals, right? Uh, so, are you casting one of your heals? I'm not casting it. With the focus? Heal with focus on you. Thank you. Okay. That means you have used three of those focus heals. You have two of those focus heals left. Okay. I'm going to put them on, put them up. Did you catch that? Yes. Lavinia, you have two focus heals left. Ah. Uh, I have got the labels now, the little round labels that I need for stickers, and I've made you a thing. Five. I need Thank somebody. You. 
Who's got a good printer who'd be willing to print some labels for me? I just need mostly black. Do you guys have good printers? Yeah, I'm going to give you some labels to take home. Remind me. Give them to you right now. I have a laser printer, a inkjet, and life. a dice uh, level machine Thank Yeah. Thank you. I want really good quality ones. I'm going to give you two things. This, and I'll give you the other one later. We've got to remember that those okay. have to go with you. So, and don't lose them. And I'm going to give you the mm, big money. files okay. to print. I rolled a two. Yeah. Because then I will have poker chip slot, poker chip tokens mm -hmm. for her focus elixir, spells and stuff like that. Oh, nice. Okay. Just you're a little better. Yeah. I am a little better. Thank you. Uh, okay. So um, with Lavinia's, what was it? My healing spell? Healing spell. I gained five points, HP points back. And then... Uh, Raven just passed me a, an elixir of life, and I rolled a d6, and I rolled two out of six. So, do you need I'm, a bandage? I'm now up to 41 out of 53, so I'm feeling pretty good. So, thank you guys. Thanks, team. I can, I, I've got some yarrow bandages. I'm, I'm feeling pretty good. I, well, yeah, well, save them. I don't think she can use a yarrow yet because I don't think it's been long Four enough. Hours. Oh, yeah. Four, Four hours. Four hours no, in it's between. Been a day, isn't it? I'd say another two hours and you're good for a yarrow bandage. Oh. No, it okay. has to be four hours in between. Oh, because yeah. you guys bandaged up and then you rode the mammoth. That's yes. right. So that means that you're probably, like I say, two and a half hours out. Where do you want to explore since you are here? You have now finished all of this bit. Where's our ghost? Uh, oh, your ghost. I haven't been able to play Willibus. Will Willibus? He comes over and he's like, oh, 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 good job. You killed a couple of big bugs. Oh, you're the most fearsome man slayers of bugs I've ever seen. Can we ask him which direction we can go to find the prisoners? He's like, oh, I won't tell you about where the prisoners are, but I will tell you that there are mushrooms to the south of you and a very nice shrine that I want you to visit to the north of you. Okay. Um, can you tell us where the prisoners aren't? They aren't to the south of you and they aren't directly to the north of you. Okay. So we are going to, north. you're directing to us to places that the prisoners definitely aren't. You're going to the north. We'll go to the north. Let's go to the north. I'd be happy to see the sh yeah. shrine. A shrine, yes. Okay, so Thaddeus is currently at the bottom of a big old set of stairs. I'm going to switch us back <laughs> over to the adventure screen so we can see what's going on. Uh, Thaddeus is at the bottom of the stairs. Do, 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 and they are going upwards. Looks like they open up into an area that's got tiled. Thaddeus just walks right up the stairs. <laughs> he doesn't check for traps or anything. And sure enough, he's in an area that, is it showing this? Oh, good it is. This is as far as he can see right now. It looks like it's opening up into a bigger area ahead of him. That's what you can see from where you're at. Uh, I'm going to move the map because we are getting... I'm going to interrupt as well, because I do see that four minutes ago, that timer that you set I did know. go off, okay? So, so I think if you guys are you guys cool know. with it, we will play. I, I thought that I set a 40 minute timer. You did set a 40 minute timer. I don't understand why it went off already. Because 40 minutes passed. Yeah, but I thought I said it at, <laughs> It's just at, time passes at the so half quickly. Hour. Didn't I? Like, Time Didn't passes say... very quickly when we're mm. when we get into gaming. This is it's it's a bit strange. I don't know how the timers work. Okay. I set the timer 34 minutes ago. Oh, okay. So there's something wrong with the damn timer, is what I'm saying. I'm going to go and get one of those wind up timers. See, I have one of those and, and... just like let it go. Let's do that. That's a great idea. Table when... I would love that better than this timer. I, I got mine from you line. Okay, you can get them from the dollar store. I have one that it looked like a chicken, and you rolled it up, and uh, like when it uh, when it ticked down, it went and jumped all over the table. So it is ten p.m., uh, and I would like to be done at ten fifteen to ten twenty. Does that sound good? Sounds good. Sounds good. So we're going to go that many more minutes, and then we're wrapping it up. 
you guys all move up into this area i moved the map you guys can sort minis out as you need to i also got to sort out the adventure screen i'm going to do that here and uh okay thaddeus what do you want to do uh thaddeus is going to move out from underneath percy and you were awesome at moving your token by the way thank you for being so good at that um uh, i'm i'm searching <laughs> josephine on the other hand josephine just jumps the right in there through the oh wall. i'm riding there <laughs> like, we jumped over everyone Sprying. He's unclear on the concept of an underground bear. mine. No, no, okay. no, we jumped over um, everyone. Just... Sorry, I rolled a, a 26 okay. for searching. So you're leaped over by Josephine, who now is standing right in front of a great big uh, shrine. And I'm going to see, I might even have an awesome picture do i have it oh i do yeah so here we go you have a nice picture of the shrine so you can Ooh. see what the shrine looks like that's a lovely oh, shrine that is a nice shrine looks like lotha shrine. <laughs> uh, he's both are skinnier than that yeah. yeah let's see here did it show it up here yeah it did good okay as you can see there are a whole bunch of Things that have been put on it and as you examine all of these different papers and other missives and stuff you find that that it is a memorial that has been here for a very long time for decades uh a deserted memorial with all of the notes uh about the lost miners who died in the shallow creek mine disaster that oh. killed wilbris so if if it has been abandoned for many many years why are the candles lit the candles <laughs> are lit because they're eternal magic candles that always stay lit the miners know how to make those good question so yes there's a little bit of stuff around here also this is something the dwergar would honor as well so maybe they lit the candles <laughs> as you and go it's up something here something we should not desecrate is there anything else you want to do I'm at the shrine? The, the north corridor, and I'm going to ask the ghost um, uh, what he would suggest. Can we pray to this deity for any kind of advantage? The ghost looks at you angrily and turns his face away. Interesting. Oh, that's so Actually, I'm going to ask the ghost. Do you know this guy? And he puts his nose up and snubs as he looks at all of you in silence, like he's waiting for something. May I say I'm sorry for your loss, sir? Do they remember you? He won't talk to any of you now because he's waiting for something. Didn't he want us to do something? Oh, we're supposed to put the doodad on the thingamajig. We need to put the mirror wow, on the technical shrine. Technical terms, man. <laughs> the dude out on the thing of a jig. Yeah. Right. So there was supposed to be the, a mirror. We get the mirror the and we put it on the thing of a jig there. Yep. Who's got the mirror? I don't think it was actually a physical object that went into any of your inventories. Okay. So uh, who clicked on I, it and made the ghost appear? All of us. I think it was actually Josephine made the ghost appear, didn't it? Did you? Did it, did it not go into our bag of holding? No. Not that one. Okay. But let's assume okay. that Josephine Let got us... the mirror. Put the mirror Do -do -do -do. down on the shrine. I don't know. I moved you instead of me. You're manhandling me. Put the mirror down on the shrine. These giant hands came from space. And okay, and everything. as you do that, you hear a huge hammer hitting a gong. Pong! Like it's hitting an anvil. And there's a bellow of laughter. And Willibrid says, Hoo-hoo! And he's happy to answer whatever questions you want for the next 30 seconds. 30 seconds? Oh, my goodness. Where are the prisoners? You're going to find them probably up and to the northeast. Up and to the northeast. Everyone got that? Yep. Okay. What other traps are there in this uh, dungeon that we should be aware of? He doesn't think there are any actual physical traps, but he does know that there are four Dwergar dwarfs just waiting in ambush. Aiken to take you out. 
And he also says, beware the Mortlock and the Dig Widget. Technical terms. What are those? Are those um, creatures? What? You don't know what a Mortlock is? What kind of adventurers are you? Have you never looked up a Mortlock before? Not a yet. Mortlock is We're a, new. Is an is is an underground humanoid that hasn't seen the light of day in a long, long time. And this particular one is named Perjurus, oh. and he takes care of the dig widget. He doesn't like cord. And what is a dig widget? Well, what does it sound like? It might be. It's obviously not a box Shovel. of Kleenex. Sounds like a it's child. something that digs. You now know the prisoners, wherever they are, are far to the northeast. Far to the northeast? Well, it, it, farther to the northeast, I guess, would be more accurate. Thaddeus, are you wanting to go up that tunnel? Uh, well, I was looking down the tunnel, or up the tunnel. Okay. okay. I would like to ask, are there hidden passages we should be searching for as we move? Guthrunder says, no. As a matter of fact, there are no hidden passages with hidden doors in this entire mine. There was no reason for us to do it when we were miners. There was no reason for us to do any hidden passages like it was a spooky castle or something. We were just miners before we all got flooded out and died. So it's just a regular mine unless something new has been added, but Guthrinder says not in this case. So just head northeast, basically. Uh, last questions for Guthrinder. Yeah, I've got one for him. Um, do the dwarves have any particular weaknesses or things that we could protect ourselves with Guthrinder doesn't know he says they're smelly but uh <laughs> apart from that uh he doesn't know much about dwergar dwarves i mean they're they're very much they're more like core dwarves than they are like him he used to be a kelte dwarf and um he says that uh they got armor, they got weapons, they just look like regular fighting dwarfs to him. Only, the only uh, issue they have, he gives you one piece uh, of information that you do not have yet. He says, they keep wearing these funny goggles on their faces mm. when they go outside. And that's yeah. all he says to you. I have uh, some more questions, if yep. there's time. Okay. What is it you're mining for here in this? Um, well, they were mining. Mine. They were mining before for dawn silver, and they were mining for tin and copper and ore. But the mine was almost all played out. There's still a little few places you can prospect for those things. And that's what uh, Josephine was prospecting for. But if you didn't find any of that in the mining area that you were just in, you're not going to find it in the rest because all the rest of this area is all just the dwarven quarters. And now that we've we fulfilled your quest, you're going to just um, you know disappear into the ether. And now it's time for me to go. Yes. Well, you take care. Thank you for your help. Thank you for your Thank help. You. All right. And you see him say bye bye, and he goes hoo hoo. <laughs> he turns around and floop, he flies straight up through the ceiling and uh, is freed and off to wherever it must dwarves be nice go. Nice to be released from a mirror i was gonna ask him for stuff but last time he gooed me and he does <laughs> honestly he doesn't have any stuff so i wouldn't have been a, wouldn't have been he's anywhere. a ghost i have stuff he's a stuff with goo he's most ectoplasm. of the time you're gonna find ectoplasm. that ghosts don't actually have inventory but there may be something nearby right they might know of where it wouldn't make any sense if they actually had stuff on them uh, okay, so as Thaddeus heads up this little uh, channel that he's heading up right here. I'm also listening. Uh, you do not hear anything other than just the echo on the walls. Uh, he spots a something laying on the ground up in the corner. I don't like it when this thing freezes up on me. So, guys... One of the things that I know, or at least we found out, is that they have a particular light sensitivity. So if I end up hitting them with a light spell when we get into it, um, it's an area effect, but they should be at least descent with being underground. 
they're not going to have their goggles on because those goggles are to protect them from sunlight. I so, was going to say, yeah, like, so I think their goggles they, are sunglasses. Yeah, so mm -hmm. if their goggles aren't protecting them underground, that's going to be where we're going to be. So they may, I have to look up the details here, but they will be blinded for a particular amount of time. Uh, Which spells have you prepared that I, way? I, I, if I had my thing open, I could tell you. Just a minute. Okay, we're going to call it here, but I want to do one last thing before we call it. Raven, I'd like you to go up that um, passageway that Thaddeus and Percy are moving up, and I'd like you to try that scroll that's up in the corner and see if it opens for you. It's not there anymore. I just just did what it. What are we looking at right now? Did it open and did it work? Um, I Let me search for one item, and now I have to look at the communication to see if it will show me what it was. I gathered a scroll of befuddled. befuddled. Excellent. Yes, rank one. Okay, here's the thing about the scrolls that you and find. And he doesn't have permission to view it, of course. Well, not from here. Go ahead. You can't see the scroll? He, he, well, he it's, it's in my inventory. I'm sure I can. No, I'll check your inventory. Okay, fine. Yeah, he's got to wait till it goes in his inventory. Um, Although I might be able to fix that. Here's the... No, I can't fix that. Uh, here's the thing about these scroll cases. There are scroll cases for every rank, and there's actually ha all of the scrolls in rank one are available to you, all the scrolls in rank two, all the scrolls in rank three. When you click on a scroll case and it gives you that scroll, that scroll is turned off on the roll table so that you won't get the same scroll twice. You'll always get a new one. Hmm. Okay. Okay. This should make it better for you finding all the different recipes. But there are 122 rank two scrolls, like magic spells. There's a 97 rank three magic spells. So it's going to be hit and miss. Sure. You get. Cool. But I've built a massive inventory of scrolls for you to find. Okay, Thank that's you. it, guys. Radiant We're going to field. call it there. Glenn. Anybody else field. Thank you. have uh, any other stuff they want to talk about before we wrap up? We're all done. No, thank you. Mm, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. You guys, we got Raven back tonight. And you got Raven. And he was so helpful. Oh, he was. He yeah. stomped that scorpion. Yes, yeah, he was he like, he was like, like oh. <laughs> Let's kill a scorpion, big boy. He was a big boy. Great. Such a good sweetheart. Boy. And yes, and now we go on we adventures together. We could have made sushi. Yuck. You mean with the scorpion with sushi? Mm, your insides are kind of gooey and Ew. green, I think. Yeah. Anyways, you guys got all the stuff off of them and you just threw it someplace? Put it somewhere? I, well, I put it in a bag of holding. All right. Yeah, I, so, I I scooped everything off the scorpions and just threw it. <laughs> scooped. Scooped. I scooped the scorpions. And don't threw forget them. your containers in the bag of holding to put stuff in to sort it. I'll try and make sure there's containers for each of the kinds of things. Like okay, a container like there's a bag for gems. We're gonna make sure there's a hunting bag for hunting stuff. Okay, so that when you need something like that, you go look in that one or throw your stuff into that one that you don't want in your inventory. So I don't know if I managed to get the jug with the stuff that was in the jug into the bag of holding or not, because I was having a hard time opening it. And so I guess I'll have to look to see. It might actually be in your items if you look at your bottom of, or your actor's tab at the bottom. If you look at your actor's tab at the bottom, I let everybody have a look at that. Uh, it might be there as a treasure right now, isn't it? Can we take the pink bow off there yet? Do you want to take the pink bow up there? Yes. All right. I will. It's let, pretty will... degrading to him, to be honest. The there's nothing left in the in the sealed jug. It's it's empty. So you've got the stuff somewhere. Yeah, but I want the jug. Oh, you want the jug? Why didn't I think of that? Okay. <laughs> I mean, you're right. That totally makes sense. Next time I make a sealed fucking jug, I'll put an actual <laughs> jug in there. 
so that there's a jug to take along with the the container. In Wasn't this case, a sealed fucking jug. <laughs> <laughs> I was frustrated with my players what? and their stuff. Um, <laughs> How so? Okay, so I see within um, here we've got a Josephine bag, a Lavinia bag, a Percy bag, a Raven bag, a Thaddeus bag. Yes, we don't have a bear bag. That's fine. Bear and I can share a bag. Okay. And if I what die, the... I'm sure oh. one of you will share your bag with <laughs> Big Bear. What was the name of that spell you wanted to cast again? Radiant Field. See, I wonder if that goes further. Okay, we are all done. We're going to go. Good night. Release. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Goodbye oh, until we, we meet we had again. We our friend Ion Eyes uh, hang out with us in chat tonight. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you. And uh, thank you to Dave for another spectacular game and especially for a <laughs> scroll that would bring back a past companion who we are all overjoyed to have back with us. Yeah. Okay, so homework. Uh, I'll work out labels with you, okay. Rob, and um, Amanda. You're gonna try and find us a timer. Yeah, sure. Okay, Amanda will try and find us a timer. That's good. All right, and ye, and Thaddeus needs. Oh, we did well. We'll wait to show it off. We'll wait to show it off when it's done mm -hmm. and baked. Okay. Yay! Always better to. All right, wait. let's wrap it up. Okay, thank you, okay, Dave. Thanks, guys. Thanks, everyone.